Hey guys, well the calendar may say it's fall, but it sure looks a lot like winter out there to me. So today we'll stay inside, we're going to do some painting. We're going to paint a deep diving crankbait. Now the pattern I've picked for today kind of goes along with fall. I know a lot of times in the fall we're, we're thinking of topwater fishing or we're thinking of hunting or we're thinking of football or whatever it is. Well, for Bob and I, we have a local lake that every spring and every fall, the game and parks stocks trout. So we try to go out and do a little trout fishing every year, see if we can catch a few. But the thing about this lake is, the bass and the muskie in this lake love those trout because this lake has got a lot of big bass in it. It's got some big muskie in it. So I thought, let's do some painting for those bass or for those muskie. And we're going to paint this deep diver in a rainbow trout pattern. As usual, we're going to start out with a base coat and we will use the Createx Opaque White for our base coat. And basically all we want is just a good, nice, even coat over the whole lure. That should have us. We'll dry that with a heat gun and then we'll move on. You know, I'm going to take just a minute because I haven't done this in quite a while and show you what I do to clean out between. I got a little white in. I have a spritzer bottle of water. I just spritz a little in to get rid of some of that paint. Spray it out until I get water. Rinse it out. Hit it until we're down to air. And we're ready to move on. We're going to start with the belly. Start with the lighter colors, work our way up. We're going to go with a pearlized white for the belly on this. I'm not going to say the trout really has a white belly, but for the, for the situation of painting here, that's what we're going to go with. And it won't really matter if I go up a little on the sides. We'll come back and cover that up a little bit later. That pearlized color really gives a lot of shine and sparkle in the water. So I really like the pearlized colors. And that'll do that. Let me dry that and move on. Okay, come down across the top of the lure. We're going to stay pearlized create text. This time it's going to be a pearlized copper. So we'll just try to take this down, leaving a little bit of that white belly. A little bit heavier on the back, but taper it down on the sides. So it tapers into that pearlized white on the belly. All right. See if you can see that. I think we'll stop right there. Let's dry that. If we're going to make this a rainbow trout. We need the rainbow. So again, we're going to create text, pearlized. This is pearlized magenta. Now the first two colors went on and plus the base coat at about 40 pounds of pressure. I'm now sitting at about five to seven pounds of pressure. And that's all you're going to want to do in order to get that magenta on there without going crazy with it. Just like this. We're going to hope. Here we go. you know what we're gonna let that go I think right there I don't want too much on there just enough let me see if I can get the camera in a little closer for you there we go hopefully you can see that on there in the magenta just a little bit see if I can roll it over here try to keep it in the camera for you there we go that's just about where I'm going to quit right there on the magenta. I don't want to get carried away with that. You know, that's not bad, but 
I think I'm going to gamble here and go for a little bit more. I want a little bit more on there. We'll try it again. There we go. A little bit more here. There, I like that. A little bit more on there. I got a little more on this side, but we're going to do a little something on top. We'll kind of help that a little bit yet. Let's see if I can get this in a little closer where you can see that better. There we go. Hopefully that focuses in and you can see that a little better. Now we got one more color we're going to put on here, and then we got to go for the spots. All right, for the last step here on the main paint, I want to bring the top, make it a little bit darker on top. So I've done a little mixing here, and I've probably gone against all your rules you're supposed to use. I've stayed with that Create Text Pearlized Copper that I'd used before. But now, I've taken some of the good old Walmart Burnt Umber, about a drop of that, I mix that in, mixed her up to get myself a darker color with it. So all I did is darken up the Pearlized a little bit by mixing the two. I'm going to keep my pressure down here at five, six, seven pounds, and we're just going to go right down the back with a light coat of this dark. We're not going to want a bunch of it. That's why I'm keeping it there. And I'm stopping with that right there. Now let me see if I can bring that in before you move some of the stuff out of the way. Let me see if I can bring that in so you can see it a little better. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see it a little better. There we go. We got the pearlized white. We have the pearlized magenta. Then we come up to the copper. And finally on the top, we're darkening it up with that copper mixed in with the Walmart. So the only thing we're really missing now is we need to put spots on it. So let's start there next. All right, guys, we're going to need to put some spots for it to be a rainbow. I've got some, actually, some pearlized black I'm going to use. Now, I thought about using my toothbrush where I splatter it across, but I was afraid of getting too many big ones, too big spots in there. I love the toothbrush because it's really random on your spots, but I was just a little bit afraid of getting something too big. So here's what I'm going to use. These are called a micro brush. And I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. This is the super fine. It's got a really fine point. And we're just going to dab it across here uh, and see how we come up. Because all I want is real small spots. So basically we're just going to hit them like that randomly. I'm not going to get any down by the belly. And I don't think we need to get too carried away with them. Put a couple more near the top here a little bit yet. There we go. Okay, I'm going to dry those real quick. Then we'll turn it over and I'm going to do the other side. Alright, let's get a few on this side. Last one's always a big one, ain't it? The one I should have quit one minute sooner, right? Let's see what we have here. Alright, that's not bad. We can go with that. Alright, next step. Get the tape off. And get some eyes put in. Alright, as I've done, showed you in the past for the eyes, even though they have a sticky on the back, I like to use just a little dab of tacky glue. In each eye socket, I usually just put that on with a uh, toothpick. And then using a second toothpick, we'll just pop an eye off, pop it on. Pop 
pop another one on. And there we are. Let me see if I can get in a little closer for you. Alright, there is the rainbow trout pattern. We just need to put a clear coat on the top. Well, there we go, guys. There's the rainbow trout pattern. Hopefully, in the next couple weeks, the weather will get better. We'll get a shot to get out. Maybe we'll catch a few fish with it. But for now, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.